Good morning, folks. We're at the homepage of the Weather Channel. As I was in the crosshairs, I was watching last night. Dr. Forbes deserves a big up for the manner in which he's now describing these storms knuckling across the states. The damage tolls won't be known for hours, and the number of dead is rising. The giant low-pressure system at the Great Lakes now came tearing across the country with a convergence reinforcing high pressure to the east. They yanked north where they met in the middle. This warmth and moisture was met by frigid air brought around the back side from the north of that same driving low. The tornado sirens began in East Columbus around dinner time, came and went, along with major wind and rain. The lightning wasn't so bad, but as I was outside this morning looking for ice on, the damage was visible around me, evident even in the dark. The RSOE should be adding more extreme weather and tornado icons to the east as the day goes on. Eastern Australia also saw a tornado touchdown. We knew the storms were coming, but they were more severe than expected. Still got that low in southwest Europe while another line crests the channel now. In the Pacific, we see another cell coming into play on the west coast as we speak. National Hurricane Center also tracking out in the Atlantic, a mid-November what? should develop fully within 48 hours. All links to your local weather can be found below this video in the About tab with the other citations. This is the Tropical Rainfall Measurement Mission. Good article about a volcano expected to erupt under the ice in West Antarctica. Not expected to blast through the ice, but the melt would be major. This takes me right into a point from yesterday's evening news. We took a better look at the Scotia Sea, home of the recent major quakes. One big question is why did yesterday's rumble not cause a tsunami? Well, tsunamis are most often caused by a thrust vertically at a subduction zone, but at a transform fault, oceanic fault, or spreading rifts, movement tends to be lateral, which will not make a big wave. Now, there are no volcanoes on the ridge where that quake hit, but they do indeed pepper the general area. I also have an amazing paper on the ice melt, tidal forces, and potential climate influence linked below. Latest on Comet Ison. Brighter and brighter. To review, we do not know if it was a major outgassing or a breakup of the nucleus that caused the brightening. Still too hard to see, but we should learn soon enough. I recommend taking down the links to the observing campaign in Bruce Gary's website. By the way, the sun continues to pop CME after CME at ISON, one every other day or so. They're not major and there's not high flare value associated, but plasma shock after plasma shock has been tagging the comet for about two weeks. Latest endless splash is dead on target. I've linked below the stereo ISON page for about the 20th time since 2012. Our satellites are about to get incredible visibility of this comet here in a few days, and this shows which camera to look at on which day and where the comet will be in the frame. Solar wind speed is falling in constant density, keeping the KP index quiet. There are no high energy protons afoot in the magnetometer and electron flux have regained their nice calm curves. Solar flaring is absolutely dismal once more. And just look at what is happening down south to the sunspots. The decay and morphing is 10 to 100 times the shifting up north. The major group trailing was a Zurich Class F, but now is pitiful looking next to its developed lead. Then, we will again come to the big guy up north. Shots we are getting are unlike anything any of us have ever seen. I've taken the SDO composites, lined them up atop the Doppler gram to show the helicity, the vortex created even well above the penumbral lines of electricity, which also often show the curves. Bit of a disappointment, Lockheed Martin's planned iris looks do not include that big spot, 11899. Hopefully they can catch that spot and teach everyone something soon. Since the big earthquake down south, the coronal and umbral fields snapped closed immediately. Since then, no seven pointers or six pointers. In fact, these four pointers near Europe are the more impressive of the day. Quick note, love to get your opinions on these polls. These are for everyone. Also, change the name of the music shop to Get the Music, because now there are two shops. Popular demand force the return of the observer shop. Clothes, gear, mugs, happen to be wearing mine right now. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.